I am going to make some egg bites. First, I'm going to take, this is my favorite kind of sauces. It's just cheap sausage from the grocery store, but I love it. I like the taste, it's not spicy. I'm gonna throw a few of these into my air fryer. I'm just gonna do like five, that's probably good. And just set this on. So while that's cooking, I am going to prepare the eggs. With, with the egg. Some of these don't have to be all the way full because you're gonna add, I'm gonna add, I think I could use one more egg. It's about halfway through, I'm going to check my sausages real quick. Oh yeah, see they look nice. I could turn them over a little bit so then they're on both sides. I love my air fryer. It's like the family size one. Walmart. So far I have like this. in there. I'm going to put my oven on 375. Put it in the oven for maybe 10 minutes on 375. I am going to make some little mini pancakes and some berry topping to go on top with some fresh homemade whipped cream, and I'm doing a keto version. Okay, I have this small saucepan. I'm gonna put the burner on high to start with. I have a pack of frozen mixed berries. To add a good heaping spoonful of swerve to my berry mix. Maybe even another a little bit, maybe a half of what I just did. Just mix it in really good. Keep stirring it continuously because you do not want it to burn. Once it starts melting down, it like starts cooking pretty quickly. I bought, I have these platters I bought from Michael's. Aren't they pretty? Starting to thicken. Because I wanted more berries, like raspberries, blues, I'm gonna add a few fresh blueberries and raspberries to it. I don't need very many as there's already some in there. And just let those cook down. with you I love this mixer my daughter got it for me for Christmas it's a KitchenAid I had picked it off my list it's cordless check it out no cords I can walk around the room with it it, it, it has it's pretty powerful actually it has five speeds and it's not that loud it's pretty quiet it's on fire right now so my whipping cream is starting to peak so this is when I want to add in my vanilla and sugar sweetener. I'm not measuring, I'm just kind of dumping in tasting here. I put about two heaping spoons like this of swerve.
gluten-free. Pamela's gluten gluten-free pancakes, and they are delicious. You'd never know they're gluten-free. It just calls for a cup of, I'm just gonna use the rest of the bag because there's only just like a tiny bit over a cup left. It's one cup of mix. I'm gonna do my egg in a measuring cup just in case I get an eggshell because I'm not the pour up cracking eggs. Tablespoon of oil. I'm just using olive oil. And two thirds cup of water. I don't usually use a skillet when I do pancakes, but I'm gonna try it for this one. Greased well. bubble. My pan's pretty hot, so. I want to show you what I'm going to do with these. Top a little very whipping my pancake berries whipped cream doesn't it look so good we scoop out the egg bites and the pancake fruit and you have a perfect little brunch for your husband, your friend, or somebody you love. 